K Sports. Brand new season. So glad to have you with us on this journey. And tonight, we've got the Phoenix Suns playing against the LA Clippers right here in Los Angeles. I'm Brian Anderson, and joining me at the table, Richard Jefferson and Grant Hill. We've also got Allie LaForce bringing us reports. And here's what Phoenix's schedule looks like. On Friday, they'll face off against Anthony Davis and the Los Angeles Lakers. And then on Saturday, they'll go up against Klay Thompson and the Dallas Mavericks. And looking at the Lakers matchup, it's going to be game number four for them during the start of this NBA campaign. They'll want to get off to a hot start for the year. All right, now the opening lineup for Phoenix. Allen and KD are the forwards. Booker and Beal are the talented backcourt. And it's Nurkic in at the five down low. And for Los Angeles, it's Jones at power forward with Zubats at center. Harden and Powell, their backcourt. And it's Mann in at the three. So many things to love about opening day. What's tops on your list, RJ? A lot of things, really. But, man, the energy in the building. This house is rocking. These fans are so pumped up and optimistic about their team right now. Powell outside. Pass to Zubats. Three-pointer, Harden. Gets the three ball to go. Great shooting reflexes from Harden. Able to put his shot up right off that pass. Booker against Harden. Allen outside. And here's Nurkic. Right side Booker. Stolen by Harden. Outside Ben. Pass to Jones. Harden scanning the floor. Spins. Outside man. Down to five on the shot clock. Zubats with a screen on Booker. Here's man. Offensive rebound. And he dunks it down. Give him the ball anywhere close to the hoop. That thing is over. And that was our AT&T 5G slam cam. Bringing you the sauce. And here are the Suns now. It's a five-point game. This game against Los Angeles here. Their first look at the Clippers. A divisional battle. Tonight, the first installment of four games between these teams. A chance to establish pecking order. And you look at how Durant is playing at his age. He's still as elite as it gets, RJ. You don't lose skill. KD could play into his 40s if he wanted to. That shot isn't going away, and he's always going to be tall. He will be one of the best scorers every time he laces it up. First free throw is good. And Grant, the Clippers have strung together 13 straight winning seasons. But at the same time, it feels like they've left a lot on the table. Yeah, with all their star power over that time, they've made it past the second round of the playoffs only once. And that fan base is restless. Hits one, then misses the second attempt from the line. Well, Richard, I know you had the pleasure of guarding Kevin Durant. Not an easy assignment. What was that like? You're right, B.A. I had the pleasure of guarding him in the NBA Finals. And let's say it was not the easiest of tasks. He's become such a complete player, there's no way to stop him. He takes what you give him, and he kills you with it. Pass to Booker. Outside Durant. Yes! And it's Booker with the setup. Oh, that's cute. You think you can play tough, physical D, but that's Kevin Durant. Like, come on. A moment to hear from Ali LaForce. Tyron Lue gave me a few minutes to catch up with him. I asked Coach what the game plan is for Kevin Durant. They remarked, hope KD misses a few shots. <laughs> a seven-footer with his skill should be illegal. Durant is a legend, but our guys are hyped to face off with him. Let's see if their energy can slow Durant down a little bit, guys. Okay, thanks, Ali. Now here's Booker. His last outing, we saw him score 22. And that's good. Kevin Durant for three. Durant's got six. What a ruthless move by Durant. Dealing a big blow to the opponent's morale with that three-point answer. And timeout called by Ty Lu. He'll take the opportunity to regroup. The Clippers making a switch here. Batum's checked in. O'Neal, he's checked in for the Suns. Okogie comes in for Bradley Beal. And 
ahead here in the first, approaching three minutes play. Batum. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. The length of Batum is sometimes a problem for defenses, which is why they resort to fouling him. Los Angeles shooting their first free throws of the night right here. Shooting two. He makes a first. All right, on the line, we've got our insider, Shams Charania. What do you have for us, Shams? Well, guys, after getting swept in the first round last season, everyone around the league had a sense that changes were coming in Phoenix. And now a new coaching staff led by Arizona native Mike Budenholzer, but also finally getting point guards in Tyus Jones and Monte Morris on value deals. They aim to do better this season. And guys, they have that talent with the big three of Kevin Durant, Devin Booker, and Brad Beal. Looking for a bit of redemption. All right, Chomps, thanks a lot. Durant with the bucket. Durant's got his third basket on the night right there. So polished from the interior. Durant is terrific at utilizing his physical advantages down on the block. Pass to Bamba. Now Porter. And Nurkic with the block. Out of bounds as Los Angeles keeps possession. And it's time to give you a look at the top three-point shooting teams from a year ago. Fifth, Phoenix. Their long-range game was a huge strength. They spread the floor, found the open shots, and made the most of their chances. Jones, he's checked in for Dunn. Plumlee's checked in for the Suns. Bradley Beal comes in for Durant. There's 47 seconds left in the opening quarter. Just four to shoot. Bamba, a screen on Beal. Here's Powell. And off the front iron, and in it goes. And you got to defend better than that. I mean, that's a good look for him. See, this is what analytics don't take into account. Some guys thrive in the mid-range. really depends on the shooter. It's actually kind of blazing. And the shot goes down. Powering through contact. Beal with the strong finish. And so Porter will bring it up for the L.A. Clippers. Pass to Bombo. Here's Porter. Booker defending. Jones sets a screen. Here's Porter. Okogi pulls down the board. Beal against Powell. Beal shot is off. I thought he had that all sewn up, but somehow the defense just threw him off. does it for the first quarter. It's Los Angeles up by four and the second quarter about to get started. We'll be back in a moment. If you're just joining us, we played through one quarter in this one. And let's quickly break down the game we've seen from the Clippers guys. It was pretty obvious. I mean, cashing in on extra opportunities. That's how they built this early lead. When you're the more aggressive club, good things tend to happen. We'll see if they can maintain this level of intensity. NBA scoring has been climbing over the past decades, Grant. Is the league too offensive at the moment, do you think? Well, we know that people like scoring. The fans, players, everyone. But the league needs to make sure there aren't hamstringing defenders too much. So I think allowing some more physicality incentivizes the defender to defend. And now we have competition on both sides of the ball. On the court right now, second quarter for the Suns. Monte Morris is out there with Bradley Beal. Then it's Royce O'Neal. Then it's Mason Plumley, And it's Okogi in at the three. The small forward. Now here's Batum. Mamba pass to Jones. Batum with a screen on Beal. Three-pointer. Harden. And it's Phoenix with a rebound. It's so interesting, Grant. Younger fans may not realize the Clippers had a lot of rough seasons early on. Well, you know, B.A., that's one way to put it. <laughs> you know, in their first 27 years in L.A., they only made the playoffs four times. But 
things have definitely changed. Owners have changed. And now they're postseason regulars in the league. On target from range. Picking up right where he left off. Hit two triples in the first quarter. Now he gets another to fall. Beal finds Morris. Plumley with it. Pass to Beal. Three-pointer, O'Neal. Another three for Phoenix. <laughs> That's how you up the ante. Come right back at him. Yeah, I love the competitive fire timeout, right timeout. there. You drain a triple on us, and I'm coming for my revenge. And timeout called by Ty Lu. I think right now he must be looking at some adjustments. Some changes for Los Angeles. Zubats comes in for Bamba. And it's done in for Jones. Allen, he's checked in for Phoenix. Booker comes in for Morris. Now approaching two minutes of action here in the second. Here's Porter. And a miss layup. Suns trail by four. Beal to pass to Booker. Outside O'Neal. Now here's Booker. Over Porter. Booker can't get it to go. Defense kind of rolled the dice there, and I'm a little surprised that it ended up going their way with the miss. You know, Booker gets a lot of praise for his scoring, but how about his skill as a passer, Richard? Oh, he's a good decision-maker, B.A. He's able to read defenses and dissect them with his passing. He's shown he can be a traditional, quote-unquote, point guard. Harden. And he finishes. That makes him four out of five. Fighting for those points. The beard playing tough. Outside Booker, pass to O'Neal. Booker with a screen on Batum. And here's Beal, defended by Harden. It's Booker on the wing. Clock at six. Outside O'Neal, beyond the arc. Yes, and it's Booker with the setup. O'Neal's got six points in the quarter. Unsurprisingly savvy pass by Booker, setting another guy up for success instead of forcing a shot. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Allie. Well, guys, a lot of new developments for the Clippers this season, and obviously they have the new arena, new designs for their logo, jerseys, and court. Not only that, their G League team moving into a brand new arena in Oceanside, renewing the San Diego Clippers moniker. Brian, a lot to be excited about for this Clips team. No question. Good stuff, Allie. Thank you. Now here's Booker. No points yet. Pass to Beal. Shoots over Harden. Oh, stolen by Harden. Now here's Zubats. He's checked by Plumley. Three-pointer, Harden. Plumley pulls down the board. One reason this game is so tight is because both teams are hitting the boards with <laughs> reckless abandon. And he hits it and gets hacked. A three-point chance here if he can convert. That's what speed and agility will do for you. Big-time play. Phoenix shooting their third free-throw shot of the game. drops he ties it up 19 seconds left in the second period the Suns clear it to the inside Katie jams it straight down he finds a shooter in motion and is confident he can thread him with the lead pass. Well done. And the first half comes to a conclusion in a game that's been very close so far. Phoenix out in front. They're up by two. Stay with us, folks. We'll be back just after halftime to get the third quarter started. Thanks for stopping by, y'all. First up on the show tonight, a quick look ahead of some upcoming games on the docket. Taking a look at the Clippers. 
I've always loved when I started the season at home. I'd be eating good. I'd be dominating down low. I'd be picking up that big old dub. So Shaq, how many of those game one home openers did you actually win over your career? AOT, Ernie, all of them. And taking a closer look at that first half, how about Kevin Durant? So it's not about how many shots you take, it's about how many you make. And he's been making the most of every opportunity. Yeah, when you got somebody cooking like that, you just sit back, watch the show. And that is gonna do it for us. Let's get back to some second half action with Brian Anderson and company. in that first half we saw a pretty tight battle we'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during halftime we are seeing an outstanding game from james harden yeah they've done an amazing job of creating room to operate for him and then of course executing i like how they came into this one with the game plan and they're just going out and executing it terrific job Harden and Powell, their backcourt. It's Jones at power forward with Zubats at center. And it's Mann in at the three spot. That's who's out there for the Clippers. Buries it from three. Powell's got five. Terrific recognition from Harden. He has a sixth sense when it comes to getting guys open. Ever since Phoenix changed ownership, they've been all in on winning now, Richmond. They've traded a lot picks away and young talent to assemble a team of superstars some of the best shooters in the history of this league and they were willing to go deep into the luxury tax to sustain it now here's Harden 11 points in the game pass to Jones Zubats with a screen on Allen here's Jones oh he finds himself wide open and drills it Jones has gotten his second bucket of the game gotta fight harder to get over those screens yeah, as soon as these guys feel contact, they are just disappearing like they're not even there. You gotta show some fire and keep defending. Deal against Powell. This one for three. Another three for Phoenix. That guy is perfect from the field, making major contributions to this lead. And Ty Lu has called a timeout. We might see him looking to make some tweaks to the strategy here. highlighting last season's assist leaders. Fifth best, James Harden. Not a lot of guys had better vision on the floor than him. He was able to see passing lanes and ready shooters no one else could. Second half of basketball, just over a minute played so far. Powell against Beal. Powell passes to man. There's a screen, launches a three, rebounded by Nurkic. Phoenix leading by three. For three, Allen, that one's good. Give the assist to Booker. Booker's got five assists in the game. 
Nice pass. Such a unique talent on both ends. That time Booker showing us his vision. Grayson Allen's shooting gets a lot of attention, Richard, but his efficiency is also impressive. No, it's his shooting and efficiency that causes problems for defenses. When he's on the floor, there will be much more space for everyone else to work. Shot clock at five. Here's Powell. And it's Phoenix with a rebound. Nurkic has got four rebounds now. And they're dialed in offensively. Sure are. Staying in attack mode and at the same time playing under control. Allen with a screen on Powell. Here's Beal. Soft touch off the glass. And it's an eight-point Phoenix lead. Credit them for making the right halftime adjustments. Oh, yeah, I can't agree more. They haven't missed. Booker against Harden. Pass to Zubats. Down low. Here's Jones. And so he draws the foul. Headed to the line to shoot a pair. It goes on Kevin Durant. Los Angeles shooting their third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. Good from Jones. And Devin Booker is already one of the greatest players in Suns history, Grant. Well, you could argue that Steve Nash still ranks ahead of him. He did win two MVPs with the Suns. But when it's all said and done, I think Booker will be regarded as the best. Batum is checked in for the Clippers. Porter Jr. comes in for James Harden. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. There's a minute 26 left to play in the third quarter. Beal outside. It's rebounded by Los Angeles. Now Porter. Yet to see a basket. Batum sets a screen. The three ball. And Porter hits from deep. Yeah, incredible range. Porter Jr. can cash you in from distance. He certainly did there. Beal outside. Back to Booker. Beal outside. Pass to Durant. Nurkic a screen on Batum to the middle. And Nurkic throws it down. I like how Durant keeps all his options open. Kicking the ball to another guy when he doesn't like what the pick and roll gets him. Porter finds Zubats. 26 seconds left to play in the third. Jones. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Everyone in the building saw the obvious contact. Los Angeles shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. No good on that one. For the Clippers, Bomba's checked in for Zubats, and it's Harden in for Powell. And he's good on the second. In the third quarter with just over three and a half minutes off the clock. Beal against Harden. Now here's Beal. The D's right on him. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting. So he'll take two free throws. It's going to be on Mo Bamba. Hey, if you can't block it, sending him to the line can be the next best thing. Phoenix shooting their fourth and fifth shots Shoot at the foul two. line in this game. And the 
first one at the line is good. Phoenix making a switch here. And Beal drops them both. And so it's Phoenix with a six-point lead at the close of the quarter. Great shot selection right now. Keeping the game simple and getting high percentage looks. We're coming right back. Don't go anywhere. And while we have a chance, let's go to our State Farm assist of the game. And I'll tell you what, this was a no-brainer tonight. Take a look at the precision on this feed. Couldn't place it any better. You've got to admire the vision just as much as the accuracy. Not many players can even spot that pass. And with these teams locked in a very close contest, this fourth quarter promises to be a good one. On the court for the Suns, getting the fourth quarter going. Mason Plumley out there with Royce O'Neal. Then it's Josh Okogie. Then there's Devin Booker. And it's Allen in at the two. You can't lose a shooter like him on the court. The ball will find its way to him, and he will drill a three each time. Three-pointer, Harden. Plumley pulls down the board. Nice rebound. Trying to match the other team's intensity right now. Okogi, the pass to Booker. Here's Allen. Yes, and it's Booker with the setup. Booker's got six assists now in the game. And timeout, timeout called timeout. by Ty Lu. He wants to make sure they're purposeful with the game plan. will go for a different look here. Zubats, he's checked in for Bamba. Jones comes in for Batum. Man, he's checked in for Dunn. And Norman Powell subbed in for Porter Jr. Time now to hear from our reporter, Ali LaForce. Guys, over the last break, I listened to Tyron Lue address the team. He said to them, you guys look defeated out there. Wake up. This game is far from over, but I need you all to believe that. I need you to fight for one another right now. All right, appreciate it, Ali. Now here's Powell. Shot from the low block. And Harden gets it to go on the assist from Powell. This is the offensive onslaught that is James Harden. Just capable of dominating games all by himself. Out to Beal. Durant for three. It's rebounded by Los Angeles. Pass to Harden. Finds it again. Six for 12 and remaining assertive. I'm just going to say this. I don't think the average fan understands how strong Harden is. He has no problem finishing through contact with those wide shoulders. Now here's Allen. Nurkic a screen on Jones. The three, Durant. 
The rebound by Mann. Clippers trail by seven. Inside, Jones, the pass to Harden. Six on the shot clock. Here's Powell. And that one drops for him. And this is just typical of him. Always making an impact at crucial moments in the game. And his team needs every bit of his production if they want to pull this one out. It is neck and neck here in the final period. Pass to Booker. There's a screen by Nurkic. Down low. And Nurkic throws it down. Booker just keeps getting better at orchestrating the pick and roll, setting up his teammates out of those sets. Booker against Harden. The three. Bradley Beal puts it in. The Suns lead by seven. Pass to Booker. A minute 15 left to play in the fourth. Things aren't looking good here. I mean, they need points, and they need a match. And if I were them, I'd start thinking about where you're going to get food after the game because this one looks a bit out of reach. Woo! His energy is unmatched. And all of a sudden, that man was just on the mm -hmm. other end. If you want a t-shirt, come on and make some noise. Fifty-nine seconds left in the fourth quarter. Powell against Beal. From downtown. Powell's shot is off. And this is exactly who you want taking that shot. He just missed it. Booker, good. And it's a nine-point Suns lead. And guys, that's got to be the dagger. This is how you finish a game. And it felt like they just flipped the switch to go on that run and seal the game. Saving their best basketball for the end. Always smart. Pass to Zubats. Jones with a screen on Allen. Here's man. Jackcock at six. There's 21 seconds left in the game. They can simply hold on to the ball here. No question, B.A. They deserve the win.
Just a gutsy performance on the road. It really was. When this one was up in the air late, they showed how tough-minded they are as a team. And now we have Allie LaForce standing with the player of the game. Allie, take it away. Kevin, that was a gritty road win. How do you evaluate your performance? Um, it's a tough place to play. You know, you hear the crowd. It was, it was loud as soon as we stepped on the floor. So, you know, we're just trying to uh, play our brand of basketball and just keep growing. The crowd had nothing on you, though. Congrats on the win. All right, Allie, good stuff there. Thanks for that. And that'll do it for this inaugural game of the NBA season. For Grant Hill, Richard Jefferson, and Allie LaForce, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for watching the NBA, presented by 2K Sports. And we present the player of the game, Kevin Durant.